Hey guys, I got another video for you, Serpent X here. Uh, this time I'm working on the HP uh, uh, HP Pavilion 17-G133, and I think it's a DS at the end. Yep, DS. Uh, obvious first steps with a laptop: take out the battery. Very simple enough. Uh, you want to do undo all the screws. So as you can see, one, two, got five up top. There's none here in the CD tray, so you don't have to worry about that. Start off with the one right here, uh, which disconnects the CD tray. Uh, then you got a couple here in the middle, and then a couple here in the back. Now, I undid the hinges. You don't need to undo the hinges. Well, actually... No, you do. You need to un you need to undo the hinges ones. So these hinges are hidden under these little black uh, protective covers. So that one will go like so. There's uh, one screw here, one screw there. Same thing for the other side. One screw here and one screw there. You just basically undo those, take these black covers out of the way, get all the screws up, but there's going to be two more that you're going to miss. One here and one here, and that's because of these little stupid stickers that basically cover the screw so you don't see it. But there's the only screws you're going to take out are ones you can see. Uh, the only ones that are hidden are sticker here, sticker here, black end cover, black end cover. Get off. Now, once you get that off, I would recommend laying it flat. What I did to first uh, separate it was I used these, um, I guess you could say spacers, picks, what have you, and I stuck it towards the back. Bear with me one sec. See that back groove right there? That's where those spacers went while I carefully use this tool to pry up on all edges all the way around. So now that that's done, I should be able to lift this up if I didn't clip it back down and very carefully lift up once you have all the screws done. I would say bring, it, bring this part of it at the, the edge here because you're going to need to get past those hinges. Once you get past those hinges, you can kind of just let it go, pull out. Now, this laptop's not bad. It's an APU, uh, I believe an A6 APU. Some of the models come up with A8s and stuff like that. But uh, at least this system is upgradable. Uh, we got an extra sodium slot. Uh, the reason I'm taking this laptop apart in the first place is because the fan died out. So I got to replace it with the new one. You can see how dusty it is from my son uh years of use uh i can do some fresh drum paste on the cpu not really that important or that major i may not even mess with it but since i have to take off the heat sink to get to the fan i might as well uh there's your wireless card there's your crappy speaker uh is that another crappy speaker I think that's, yeah, I think both of these are both crappy speakers. Uh, anyways, uh, SD card reader, uh, Ethernet, USB, USB, uh, both connect via ribbon. Uh, you got your trackpad. You got, this is your CD drive that's connected to the motherboard. Your trackpad over there. And that's pretty much it. Trackpad, mouse, touch sensors, all that good stuff. So the only thing you can do really is sew them. Here's the hard drive. So that just sits there and connects via ribbon like that. Uh, there's two little brackets that go on the edge of it for vibration slash uh, noise reduction. And that's pretty much it. And so when you put it back together, just basically follow the, the same route that you took. Uh, of course, what I would recommend is, again, with the laptop leaving, leaning over the edge, kind of get it lined up. And then you can work your way 
and to pop it on. That's the best way I recommend from doing it. But I'm going to clean this guy up, get it back together, but I just wanted to show you real quick. I was wrapping up this video, and I noticed something. So this little square right here is like a laminated paper. It's supposed to protect the transistors uh, from thermal paste. But whoever installed it at HP installed it kind of cockeyed. So if you look, parts of the CPU die wasn't even touching thermal paste. That piece of laminated sticker paper, whatever the hell that is, that was supposed to be protecting the transistors, was blocking the CPU die from actually making a connection to this small ass uh, thermal transfer, uh, not a cold plate, but you know, nickel, um, nickel plated copper. So if we cut, if we, if we, we use, let's see here, if we count that corner and that corner, that is at least an eighth of the CPU die not being cooled or not thermal transferring. That's a little bit shoddy in my opinion. That's probably why this fan was running 24 seven and died. So, but this little thing right here, you can see the big goop of thermal paste was covering it. Well, it's supposed to cover the transistors. Anyways, I just wanted to show that. So HP, do better. As I said, once again, quick recap. You just undo all the screws, start with the CD tray, take out the battery, undo every screw you can see, use a pry tool, flat pry tool with a rounded edge to pry up on, uh, I guess you could call these the end bumper caps maybe, I'm not entirely sure. There's going to be two screws holding those in and then there's going to be some more underneath there. You will need to undo the hinge mounts. Uh, you don't need to do anything with the hinges in the monitor, but you need to undo the hinge mounts because that does hold it in. And then look for these two oval inserts where there's stickers covering them. Use a very sharp, like, you know, X-Acto knife or, or utility knife to pop those stickers off. Uh, and then you'll reveal, reveal the last two screws. Pop it off, and then you got access to your internals. Upgrade what you need to, and install everything in reverse. Other than that, thanks for watching. Like, share, subscribe, and comment below, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.